Previously on Philip's Slam Bam. And you're just surprised it's gonna happen after the show. And I'm kind of out of breath because Benny just uh, ran away again. Yeah. I cleats on. What do you think, girl? Yeah, on my sign. Alright, dinner is served and yes, it is served on paper plates. Alright, you guys. Here we go. Time for another haul, you guys. I am so excited because we need to stock up. As you guys know, the kids started school, so we are stocking up on back-to-school food, things for lunches, things for snacks when they get home, and stuff for dinner. So we've got a lot to shop for. Let's do this. Let's do this. I, I'm home. We could do it during the day. Hallelujah. Oh, yeah. So we're going to go get this done. They're all at school right now, but we're going to go into Winco, do some shopping, and get it done. So here we are, Winco Foods. We haven't been here in a little bit. No, I'm excited. Yeah. I love Winco, you guys, and I feel like you get the most for your money at Winco. I yeah. just do. Serious, and it's the perfect place to go to for the back to school shopping, back to school groceries, perfect for snacks. We're gonna go ahead and check out the infamous cucumbers. Oh yeah, <laughs> and we're gonna look forward to the aisle of savings as soon as we walk in, you guys. It's actually nice right here they've got this chocolate only puddings because sometimes they have the variety packs and the kids just don't like the vanilla like we end up having like 20 vanillas in the fridge and these are for a four pack 95 cents wow which is really good look at that right here in the aisle of savings in the corner of my best friend's sofa you were getting by some rum and cola wasn't brave enough yet so we got the cucumbers 48 cents each yes which we've seen it cheaper here, but this is still the cheapest I have found yes. anywhere. So, and they're good. Like, they're good. Gosh, you're like on a mad tear. You know exactly what you want. I think I got a bad cart though. It's annoying. Oh, this car, this. Uh, when you get like a bad cart, like the wheels like all. Crazy. Yeah. Yeah. I think I got a bad cart. Oh, uh, you want me to go switch it out? No. I'll go get one. You could just push it. Okay. All right, MV. This is for you, Cran. Pineapple. Oh. Yeah. Ethan and I love the Hormel chili with no beans. Perfect for hot dogs, perfect for spreading on crackers or dipping your crackers in, and also perfect for walking tacos or the Dorito Locos. Um, get a little bit of it, spoonful of it, put it in a bag, and literally you've got walking tacos with some cheese and, and, and lettuce. So we love the Hormel chilies. Comment down below if you are a Hormel chili fan. All right, so I just picked up some steaks. I got some uh, beef chuck steaks, boneless. I'm gonna do it, put in the sous vide. If you guys haven't seen the video on the sous vide, you guys gotta check it out. It's a totally different way of cooking up your steaks and I love it. So I've got a couple for me and I got some seasoning, so I'm gonna be doing that later this week. Comment down below what your favorite type of steak is. Just to talk to you. Wow, so we literally are already done. I don't know how this cart got filled up so fast. Tina is seriously professional. She was on a mission today. And as you know, I do not even mess with helping her load this tray or the bags. How do you say load the tray? Load this sliding conveyor belt thing. <laughs> or load the bags here at Winco because she's got her own system. So I get to look like the mean husband, oh, lazy stop. husband, who just watches his wife do everything. People know, they understand. Bonnie Phillips. This cart the worst. The worst cart, I'm sorry. I'm like working out right now. Well, like it was one of those things that I'm like, is this a bad cart? I can't tell. And then like once you start putting more things in, you could tell it's a bad cart. <laughs> there you go, you guys. We spent how much? We'll let you know during the haul. Oh my gosh. Okay, you guys, we made it back home, and seriously, I just unloaded all this onto the counter, and I cannot believe how much stuff we actually got. Serious. We got so much stuff, and I was just telling Danny, Winco is like 
I feel like the best place, like you get the most for your money at Winco. I don't know if I already said that. I said it to you. Yes. But I really do feel that way because not only are you getting like, I don't know, like semi bulk. Yeah, it's sem it is semi bulk because you get like family size type things there, which I love because you're not getting the small stuff that lasts like a day. You're getting like in between bulk and um, regular size, bulky tween. Okay, you guys, so we're gonna get started with the food, but I just wanted to let you guys know and remind you guys to go follow us on Instagram. We do a ton of stuff over there on Instagram. We do a ton of stories, tons of posts. We're always on there. So go follow us over on Instagram. Facebook and Twitter also. Facebook and Twitter as well. Keep in mind, you guys, we will be doing a giveaway at the end of this video. It's been a while since we've done a giveaway in our grocery hauls, but we are this is doing pretty, one. This is a good one. Yeah, it's a pretty cool one. This is a pretty good one, you guys. It's something that we... I'm not even gonna clue you in on what it is. So just wait till the end of the video. We'll announce what the giveaway is and how you're gonna enter the giveaway. All right, you guys, so we have a lot of food to get through. So like we always tell you guys, go grab a snack. You're gonna get hungry after seeing all this food. Let's get to it. Look at my snack. Oh my God. Boom, if you guys didn't see <laughs> yesterday's Eat With Me, Bam, this is the ultimate barbecue sandwich, you guys. I'm having mine. Brayden's having his right here. Look at that. Thing is like a monster. Serious. So go get a snack. Go get a snack. It could be a light snack. It doesn't have to be something like that. Yeah. But go get a snack because you're going to get hungry. Let us know down below what you're snacking on. And let's talk food all day long. All right, so here we go. We are going to get started. I'm actually going to start with Danny's Steaks. So Danny got this so that he could cook it in the soy sous vide. Sous vide. Sous vide. Sous vide. Sous vide. So I don't know. We'll see how they turn out. Yeah, and you guys, when you cook it in the sous vide cooker, it's so tender. So tender and so delicious. We just had some the other night, and they were so good. It's literally the way to cook really any meat. Yeah, if you have time and you you time it right, the sous vide is the way. Yeah. And so we'll we'll link the the cook with me where we did the sous vide. Um, with, chicken, with chicken with chicken. We've also used steak in there and it was so good in there. As yes well. So anyways two of those Danny's gonna try those out and then of course We had to get the infamous Brayden will be happy about this pizza, pizza rolls The tortina the totinas the totinas. Pizza rolls Pizza rolls. Brayden how long are these gonna last? Are you gonna sleep with it tonight? He said one day. That's gonna be, he's gonna be, that's his little snuggle, his little <laughs> snuggle bag. He loves pizza rolls, so <laughs> he says this will last one day, which is not a good thing. How many is in this thing? 120 rolls, Brandon, come on. Dang, one day? Days. Shoot, I'm glad you have your Just own bathroom. <laughs> All right, other thing we got, you guys know the kids love the Ego buttermilk, it has to be buttermilk. Oh yeah. Waffles. Much better easy. than the home style. And I love these because for school they're just quick and easy because you guys, I know I got a lot of credit for cooking the kids breakfast on the first day of school. I don't do that every single morning. I can't. It's too much. Oh, you've been so, making Ethan's eggs. I have. But eggs are easy. I feel like eggs you just throw in and they're done. But like pancakes and all of that, I'm like, I can't do that every morning. So, there you go. We got these, just flip them in the toaster and done. All right, we got some tater tots. This is actually for a recipe that I'm making. It is the cracked out chicken tater tot casserole. So we're Ooh. gonna have that one night this week. And yeah, so we got two bags of those. Do you have a cook with me of that? I do. Yes. Well, I believe, is it in my freezer meal cook with me? I can't remember. I don't we'll, know. Link we'll link it. it. Yeah. And then I, I had to get some more sour cream for my ranch dressing. And I believe I need this for the recipe as well. So, got a big container of sour cream. And of course, Hot Pockets. Blech. Hot Blech. Barf. Hot Barf. Brayden, do you like these? Hot Pockets? Mm, yeah. Yeah, they like these. So, these won't last long either. I believe there's 18 in here. Oh, no, 12. And oh. those were in the savers aisle. Yeah, so these were actually on for a good deal. And 12 packs. Okay, the other thing we grabbed was the Winco Orange Chicken, which is delicious. I'm pretty sure this is the kind we've tried before. I, I don't know. Remember. I thought it was that orange bag, but... I thought it was in a box, and I couldn't find the oh. box. I'm pretty sure it's in a box. Anyways, I can't remember. Inez, let me know. You're the one that introduced me <laughs> to it. Now I can't remember which one it was. But we got a thing of orange chicken, and we got a thing of General TSO's chicken. 
whatever that is. So Danny wanted to grab that. So I'll probably actually make these on the same night. Ooh. And then we can have a little bit of both. Then we also got, of course, bagel bites. There is, how many in here? 40, which these won't last long either, you guys. The, the kids go through these and then they complain later that we don't have any, but it's because they eat it so fast. How many are in each little pack? Is like 10? 12. 12. Ooh, Braden knew. Like, Ooh, how do they have 40? Yeah. 10? Yeah, 10. Oh yeah, because there's 40, so it's gotta be even probably. Anyways, there you go. That's not gonna last long either, but when they're gone, they're gone. Sorry, kids. All right, I got two things of uh, ground beef because I'm gonna be making Danny's mom's tacos. Oh yeah, and the tortillas with the corn, right? Yeah, that's the corn tortillas. Um, I don't know if you guys saw the vlog where she was cooking up some delicious tacos and I wanna, Danny like loves that how she makes her shells, so I'm gonna try it out and see if I can do it. Not, not just me, same, like but all everybody. the kids were oh, like mowing on Oh no, them. I agree, and they're little, so you can like literally eat a bunch. It Doesn't it like change like the taste it of does. everything? For it's weird. for whatever reason, the shell is just so, like it's enough crispy and enough like, Almost juicy in a weird way. Well, it is because it's oil. Oh, but it's so good. <laughs> it is so good, you guys. If you haven't seen that vlog, go check it out because it is amazing. All right, then you guys know we also love Winco because they have the half gallons of the almond milk. So we got the chocolate and we got the vanilla. Vanilla and chocolate. Boom, boom, boom. Oh. <laughs> so we also got the boneless, skinless chicken breast. I got two bags of these. These are what I do love about Costco is I love getting the big, huge bags of chicken because we just use so much and cook with it all the time. So this probably, honestly, is not gonna last us a long, long time. I love Costco's big, huge bags because like the chicken breasts are like huge. So this will last a little bit. Plus we have a little bit left over from Costco. So grab two bags of those. So here's those corn tortillas we were just talking about. I'm almost wondering if I should have got more but there's a store down the street. So if we need more, we'll grab more. Yeah. So there's those. Then of course string cheese because the kids love the string cheese either after school or in their school lunches. So you guys know this was like a back to school haul snack thing. So you guys are gonna see a lot of the snacks now. And if you remember in the other the vlog the other day, Emberlyn was talking about how she wanted string cheese in her lunch, she forgot it. Yes, and she loves it. Sometimes they come home with it and I'm like, so you guys tell me what you think. When they come home with their cheese, it's still, it's warm. Like if they don't eat it, it's warm. I just toss it because it's cheese. And I'm like, it's probably not good, right? I don't know. It's packaged well though. I don't yeah, know. but it's dairy. So I yeah. feel like it needs to be refrigerated. Maybe. So I kind of hate that. Like when they come home, they haven't eaten any of it. And I just like have to toss a whole string cheese. But I just toss it just to be safe. Um, let me know if I need to toss it or if I, if I don't, I don't know. And then we've got a little thing of cream cheese because I always use cream cheese for different things. So I just grabbed a little thing of that. Grab some butter, Ooh. which is another thing that I always like to stock up on, on the at the bulk stores. So there are a few things that like I should go to the bulk stores for, but I just grabbed some butter while I was there. Got that. Got some of the original ranch dressing packets. Now, I did get that big old thing of ranch. I just decided this would be easier for the recipe. I'm just gonna pour it in and call it good. So, anyways, grab some of that. And then, of course, some granola bars for the kids. Ooh. For lunch. So there's those. And then we also got Fruit roll-ups. Oh. <laughs> it's like a race You should up. fan yourself with it. I know, it's oh. so hot, seriously. These were, these were not that much. How much were these? 38 cents each. 38 cents each, which, hey, that's not too bad. And they won't last long, but you know, like I said at the other things, when they're gone, they're gone. All right, the other thing, I didn't even know Danny grabbed these, but Gushers. Who ate Gushers as a kid? I know I did. And oh yeah. And and all that fun stuff, so. There's literally six in here, you guys. It's gonna be gone by today, guaranteed. The, there was like certain type of fruit snacks that they used to have when we were younger and they were in a pink bag and a purple bag. And they were the best and I can't find them anywhere. I don't even know. Comment down below if you know what I'm talking about. I don't know the brand, but they were in a purple bag or a pink bag and they were fruit snacks and they were so good. Wow, oh, I don't even know what those are. I don't know, but Ashlyn likes the Mott's fruit snacks. So we got, I just got her, we just got her two different flavors. Yeah, because I don't think really any of the other kids eat these. Maybe Brayden does a little bit, but 
She likes these ones. So we grabbed some of those, two boxes. Then we got some elbows. Why do they call these elbows? Comment down below if you know why they call these elbows. Is it because it like, you know, I don't know. All right, so there's those. Then we got the family size of the Ritz crackers, Ooh. which you guys know our kids love. Oh, and these yeah. are really good with cream cheese. Oh yeah. Really good. Then we've got the graham crackers. I don't know why I keep doing that. For, I'm getting dizzy. <laughs> I'm like, whoa. No, I was saying graham crackers. <laughs> oh, I thought you were moving the box around. No, that too. <laughs> <laughs> so there we go. Um, oh, this family size comes with, I don't know how much, but that's a good amount. All right, also got some Quest bars, you guys. I feel like Winco has the best deal on these. I haven't seen them cheaper anywhere else. Um, $1.98. $1.98 each, which is kind of expensive, but it honestly is like breakfast for me. Because I'm not a huge breakfast person, so I will like eat one of these for breakfast and I'll be good until lunch. And our local like uh, like speedy store, like our local mart, has like those for two fifty, so we're yeah. saving fifty cents on every one of those bars if we by getting them and At having them here. Yeah. yeah, I agree. So, anyways, got a full pack of those. The other thing we got was some beef and bean chimichanga. Ooh, for Ethan's lunches. For Ethan's lunches, he loves these because the kids get sick of sandwiches sometimes. So I try to think of different things I can make for them. Ethan literally loves these and like gobbles them up. So I'll put this in his lunch. Amberlynn actually like she had today she had hot dogs in her lunch which she loves too so. Did you cook them? Yes. Well I don't know sometimes people like just hot dog. Oh no I cooked them. I fried them up and then uh, put them in a container. Awesome. Yeah. Okay so we also got as you guys saw this was in the savings aisle so we got how many did I get? Two, four, five. So five dollars. Five dollars for all of these, which is not bad. The kids will eat through these too, but they're good for like just after school snack, like I said, or in your lunch, in their yeah. lunches. And so, so like she said, she got five, so they're five, five packages of four. So there's 20 for five dollars. Which is not bad. They do like these. I'm gonna try to hide some of this stuff in the pantry so it lasts a little bit longer. <laughs> I love your hair color right oh, now. Oh, stop. No, I'm serious. Okay, salting crackers. <laughs> No, like I really like your hair color. Well, it's the same color as it was yesterday. I know. Oh. I really love it yesterday too. You know why it looks good today? Why? All that sweat and grease oh, oh. makes it look amazing. Yes. Not. <laughs> <laughs> well, anyways, we got the original premium saltine crackers. That's nice. So you guys know Danny loves that with his water, his prison food as I like to call it. And then we got some Cheez-Its because Ashlyn. We all love Cheez-Its. Ashlyn it. especially loves those. Yeah, Ashlyn will like watch today after school. She'll come in, sit, and have her Cheez-Its with ice cold water. Are you telling them to watch or are you telling me to watch? I'm telling you to watch. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> also got two packages of the Caesar salad. This is actually not for us. This is for a family. Um, so I just grabbed two bags of those. And then we've got some tomatoes and tomatoes because it's the same thing. And then we've got some apples. Oh. Our kids love the green apples and they eat eat through them pretty quick. So I just grabbed a whole bag of green apples from there. We got some limes, a lot of them. And coconuts. La, no coconuts, no coconuts here today. And then mandarin oranges, which this is kind of a small bag. I maybe should have grabbed these. are pretty these, decent size. But they are. And they'll be gone fast too. So then we've got Cucumbers, you guys. She the literally took all of the cucumbers they had in the store. No, I didn't. Look at oh but I got my, two bags. Oh like, my god. We them so fast. Wow. So I'm like, I have to just stock up because they'll have them for lunch and then they'll also have them after school. And I'm like, all for it. So if you got, if they want cucumbers, I will buy more and more cucumbers. How many did I get? Two, four, <laughs> six, eight, ten, twelve, thirteen. Wow. That's kind of an unlucky number. I don't know why I did that. We're stocked on them for a little bit. This will probably last, I don't know, a week. And if you're a newbie here, then actually, if you're a newbie here, comment down below. Let us know if you're new yes. or if you are a lifer, if yes. you've been here from the beginning. From the get-go. You know, for all of you fan bammers and lifers who know that Tina loves her cucumbers with li lime and salt. Cucumbers with lime and salt, so good. And then everyone drinks like the, the lime juice. juice. We take the plate and we go 
whoever gets that is like the winner, the lucky winner. <laughs> Everyone fights for that, so. Not me. And then, of course, some cauliflower, because you guys know I love oh. cauliflower. So good. Is that a horn? Where's that? Wait, that's a horn. That doesn't even sound like nothing. Oh It's my. a trumpet. No. And, some, and some people, like, in their, in their country, they'll say, like, they call farts, like, trumpet. Like, you trumpeted. Did you, no, they don't. Did you trumpet? Nobody says trumpet. Yeah. No one says trumpet. I grew up and I had this I've kid. Never heard I trumpet. grew up and there was a kid that lived next door, and I think they were like English, and they were like, so I don't know if this if, if this is just if I'm way off or what, but You're way off. he would always fart or he, or like someone would fart when he was over and he'd be like, oh, you trumpeted. No. <laughs> yes. I've never heard that. I remember his name You're was. Just trying to his name was. His you name was made. James. I yeah. remember he lived well, next door. James, the trumpeter, is not watching right He's now. He's probably in his thirties <laughs> now. Oh my gosh! I honestly think you're just trying to justify the noise you made because it sounded nothing like. <laughs> All right, so we got you guys know we always get the Hormel chili. These are delicious with saltine crackers, with chips, with uh, nachos. I don't. And know. you could put them. I was saying in the store that you could put them in the Doritos bags and make uh, walking tacos. Walking tacos. That's true. So we got a few cans of these. Then we've got some spaghettios, and Danny is forcing the meatball ones on my kids. No, I this brought them. wrong. I, I'm, Elijah said he wanted them, so he's gonna try it. He's not gonna like it. Oh yeah. Right. Oh, I think one of our kids really likes the meatball ones. What? They don't. We can't. Once watch. Once they get the meatballs, they won't go back. Yes, they will. No, they I won't. I will bet you. Nope. I will bet you. Okay. He got two of the meatball ones because <laughs> they're nasty. And then we got the rest of just the regular SpaghettiOs because, you know, those are better. Okay, also got the Rotel because I use this a lot for cooking, so I grabbed a couple cans of those. And then we got the cream chicken because I will be cooking with that as well. A few cans of those. And uh, the cut green beans. I always get the Del Monte because I just like them the best. So I grabbed a few cans of those as well. Perfect for a side for like dinner or whatever. Also got some cans of tuna because Emberlyn has become obsessed with tuna for her lunch sandwiches or literally she will eat it off the spoon. If you guys saw her making her back to school lunch, she was literally just eating the tuna. So, wow. hey, I'm cool with that. Go. All right, so I need more vegetable oil so I can do those taco shells that we were talking about. So I got a thing of that. Then, of course, the baby spinach mix, just for salads, whatever, for a side or for lunch. Trying to be better, guys. Trying. Get it, girl. Get, get it. it, girl. Get it, girl. That's right. Get it, girl. Get it, girl. <laughs> there was no like way to go into that. Remember when we used to always do that? Yeah, you did. You did too. Okay, bye. All right, so we got the Winco brand of the non-stick coconut oil cooking spray. I've never tried it. We're going to give it a try, see how we like it. As you know, we usually get this at Trader Joe's, but then Danny grabbed this steak and meat seasoning, carne asada, and bistec. Carne. Carne. Yes. You know what? What was that one? Oh, say that again, babe. I liked when you did that. No. Um, <laughs> okay, you know that. Carne. <laughs> no, but you know that oil stuff we got at Trader Joe's? That we totally pronounced that wrong. It, I know, it's hobobo. Hoboba. Jojoba? Hohoba. Ho it's ho ho. Hohoba. Yeah. Yeah. Not Jojo. Why would you spell it with a J? Good. Well, Spanish, you don't. You still don't pronounce it H. It's ho ho. Hohoba. Ho. Ho, ho, Anyways, ho. that was a little rant. Okay. Then, you guys, oh my gosh. So MV, a viewer, was telling us to get this forever, and we finally got it. It's at Winco. And Cran pineapple. pineapple. It is so good. As you can see, I've already had some, and I'm going to have more because it's delicious over ice. I love it over ice. So yum, yum, yum. Great suggestion. Danny is asleep no, right I'm now. Not. Oh my gosh. No, I'm not. Who votes for Danny to do the next haul? Oh, That's what I whatever. say. Danny gets to stand up here and do the next I'll haul. I'll only do it if it's at Trader Joe's. <laughs> whatever, that sounds good. 
That's talent though, that I can actually close my eyes and keep the camera Babe, you were on straight. the verge of dropping the camera. No, I wasn't. Yes, you were. Not even. I was yes. even listening to what you were saying. Next time I'm not going to wake you up and we're going to see if we have a camera left. <laughs> <laughs> All so, right. I, so I figured it out that the camera is actually held up by your voice. Probably. <laughs> That's probably not far off. I'm okay with that. You're welcome. <laughs> I'm doing you a favor, really. <laughs> so, yeah, as you're talking, it stays up, and as if you stop, then it goes down. Lies. All right, so we got the 32 single bags of chips for the kids' lunches or for after school. As you guys know, which one? Vote. Which one is your pick? Ooh, let's see. There's light. The light's shining right on it. So let's see. We've got Lay's, Cheetos, Chili Cheese Fritos, Barbecue Lay's, Funyuns, Nacho Cheese Doritos, regular Fritos, and sour cream and onion. Ooh. Ooh, I'm gonna go with, right now, I'm in the mood, I'm gonna go with a Funyun. Ooh. Ooh. I'm gonna go with the chili cheese Frito. Oh. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> now they're crumbs. Uh, as long as you, have, you can, I was just thinking, That's you, right. you should have your Funyuns with some cauliflower. That'd be a good, crazy combo Dude, on that your would breath. that's gross, actually. <laughs> It doesn't even sound like a good combo. Uh -huh. All right, so we got the gluten-free Juanita chips. Those are the best Tortina tortilla chips. chips. They are. These at, are actually really good. At Winco. A aside for like just straight up like chips and salsa, but if you want like nacho chips, you've got to use the Mission. Oh yeah, the Mission is good. These are like um, very crispy and they like, I don't know, not frail, but like. Light? Light, I guess. Anyway, they're good. I love these ones, so there you go. All right, we got the nasty milk. There you go. Blech. And then we got some watermelon because I love watermelon. It's so delicious, especially when it's hot outside. So it's a good after school snack, too. Tina seriously found a new way to check the watermelon. She literally was dancing around the watermelon today. That's such a lie. <laughs> you were like totally, like, it was almost like a. Wait. Like a hoo ha ha ha, hoo hoo ha ha. Babe, dancing around. What? It. About. You're such a liar. I literally went up and I went like this. Knock, knock, knock. Sounds good. Put it in the cart because there's no rhyme or reason to this, you guys. I'm telling you. Literally. You can it's like a luck of the the draw. Trips. It's luck of the draw. I'm convinced because I've tried everything. Everything. And it's just either you're lucky or you're not. What if like just those times you did it oh, was the one babe. time it didn't work? No. I've tried it multiple times. Oh. So, sorry. Well, maybe the dance will work. Shut up. <laughs> all right, we got some bread, you guys. Oh my gosh, no Grandma Sycamore bread at all there anymore. Serious, and Grandma Sycamore was not in our local Vaughn either. I'm like, are local they phasing either. Grandma Sycamore out of everywhere? Because that will make me cry. So we got Granny's Old Fashioned. <laughs> we fell for it, guys. We uh... fell for it. So we're going to see if this is, I mean, it doesn't look as good as Grandma Sycamore. Hey. Like, Grandma Sycamore looks like legit. So... We're gonna try this out. I got four loaves, just in case. I could have gotten more, but I was like, eh, maybe our local grocery store down the street will have Grandma Sycamore again. They didn't the other day when we went. Uh, but maybe they just weren't they were out. out. Yeah, maybe. I don't know. Comment down below if you've got the scoop on Grandma Sycamore. Yeah, let us know because I would be so sad if they're phasing it out because they're so it's so popular. I don't know why they would. I I think I think everyone's buying that, and then no one's buying any of the other bread around it. Oh well, cry me a river. All right, you guys know we always have to get our King's Wine Roll, which I will say, once again, I do like to buy these in bulk because these little ones just don't last long in our house. So we got two of those, which is enough for a day. Just kidding. I don't know. <laughs> a little bit. So we got that, and then we got a big, huge thing of water. 35. 35 waters, and that's, that's it. it, you guys, which to me, holy crap, we got a lot of stuff. Right? Yeah, we did yeah, good. So we're stuck. So I better not hear from the kids. We have no food. There's nothing to eat. And this will actually be nice because soccer is starting and we can bring a lot of like snacks and different things to soccer as well. So this stuff actually does go pretty quick because between school lunches, after school snacks, and soccer stuff, it goes pretty fast. All right, you guys, so that's it. We are all done with the haul. That is everything we got. Now it is giveaway time, you guys. We are so excited. We get to give away one awesome and amazing Pogo Pass. If you guys have 
been watching any of our vlogs this entire summer, we have been using our Pogo Pass like crazy. We have been going to so many awesome and amazing places. Thanks to Pogo Pass, you guys. You guys, these Pogo Passes are worth a hundred dollars. A hundred dollar like, retail value. Yes, seriously, like so amazing. I cannot say enough good things about these Pogo Passes. So they have so graciously offered to give one of our viewers a Pogo Pass for free. So all you guys need to do is head on over to our Instagram. We will have a picture on our Instagram of the Pogo Pass. You guys just need to tag up to five friends down in the comments below and each one will be an entry into winning the Pogo Pass and we will be announcing the winner on Instagram on Monday. Monday. So you guys go enter. Good luck. Oh, and you must be following us and you must be following the Pogo Pass. We will leave all that information down in the description below. And that's it, you guys. Good luck. Seriously, they are so awesome. And not only that, if you don't win the Pogo Pass, we have a code down below that you guys can get 60% off your Pogo Pass. You guys. Amazing. Yeah, well, you guys, we have literally saved over $1,000 with all the places that we've gone for oh our gosh. family of seven. Yeah. And so this is one Pogo Pass. If you've got a family of four, you literally save on one ticket. And yeah. one Pogo Pass literally is a pass to like 10 different venues. Yeah, like, but like good venues. It's not like those ones that you're like, eh, I would never go there. Like they're good places, fun things to do, you guys. Check out some of our videos of where we've done used our pogo passes seriously it's been awesome we'll put down in the description below the states that have pogo passes yes. and so that way you don't have to live there if you're visiting one of those locations coming up or within the year you can also use your pogo pass it's good yes. for a whole year a whole year which i feel like is so much time to do all the stuff yes so, yes check out down below which states do get those pogo passes all of the info will all be down there for our instagram for their instagram all of that stuff so go enter you guys the winner will be announced on monday, monday. all right so that is it you guys thank you so much for watching another one of our hauls all right don't forget to subscribe like this video and that's it we'll see you guys tomorrow and don't forget to choose, choose your, your day, day.